When a New Jersey family moved into a new home, they began receiving disturbing letters from someone who called themselves the Watcher. Now, after years of torment, that family is finally speaking out. This is the now infamous Watcher House at 657 Boulevard in Westfield, New Jersey. The stately 3,900 square foot home boasting six bedrooms, four baths, and one very disturbing mystery that kept the Broadus family from ever moving in. Just three days after buying the nearly $1.4 million home in 2014, Derek and Maria Broadus say they began receiving threatening letters from someone who identified themselves as the Watcher. The anonymous writer, who claimed to keep a close eye on the house, referring to the couple's three small children as young blood in a series of menacing messages. The Broadduses opened up for the first time about the terrorizing ordeal to New York Magazine's Reeves Wiedemann. The first time I read the letters, uh, I got goosebumps. I've never seen anything like it uh, outside of, of kind of a horror movie or, or a Stephen King novel. In one of the letters, the Broadduses say the watcher wrote, my grandfather watched the house in the 1920s and my father watched in the 1960s. It is now my time. Why are you here? I will find out. The watcher seemingly taunting the Broadduses, who tell New York Magazine they lived in fear and became obsessed with trying to figure out who wrote the letters. Derek Broaddus says, I was a depressed wreck. They hired a number of experts. They hired a former FBI agent to try to create a profile. They hired a private investigator uh, to kind of look around the neighborhood. The family ultimately moved in with Maria Broaddus' parents before deciding to put 657 Boulevard back on the market. The house never sold, becoming a local urban legend. The identity of the watcher still unknown. We all have our theories, you know, high school kids, who knows? The cryptic correspondent striking one last time in February 2017. The Broadduses say a renter received a letter listing various forms of revenge, along with the message, you are despised by the house, and the watcher won. Some have speculated the Broadduses could have sent the letters to themselves as a hoax. The couple rejecting that theory, telling New York Magazine, the ordeal is like cancer. We think about it every day. We must it's send awful. Jeff Rawson to sleep over. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out. Can send the assistant in there. This is a Rawson report. No, it is. Jeff will never go in there. I was about to say, Jeff will send his like, producer, Lindsay. Right, right. Yeah. I'm in a hotel down the street. Yeah. Lindsay's inside the house. Lindsay's alone. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a Certainly crazy that one. took a turn. Yeah. 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 Thanks, Jeff. Exactly. All right. You're